Chapter three, non-Cuban priests to be expelled, says Castro. The Miami Herald, May 3rd, 1961. Notice this is a different newspaper than last time. I think the noise is coming from over there. Frankie pointed toward the high school, up the street before sprinting past the front of the house. I glanced around the neighborhood. It was strange that barely anyone was outside. He's going to get us into so much trouble, I said to myself as I ran low to the ground so that Mama wouldn't see me. Soon I caught up to Frankie. He already had his eye pressed against a hole in the school's tall wooden fence. Okay, let's go, I tapped him on the shoulder. Mama is going to kill us if we get caught. He flicked my hand away. Whoa, wait till you see this. What? You're not gonna believe it. Let me see. I pushed him out of the way. Peering through the hole, I could, several, I could see several bearded men wearing fatigues. They were unloading boxes from army trucks while others, with rifles slung over their shoulders, walked around belting out orders. They seemed to be setting up some sort of camp behind the high school. Never had I seen so many soldiers. There seemed to be a hundred or more. From the middle of the school's baseball field, a deep voice cut through the surrounding noise. A hush fell over the soldiers as everyone stopped to stare at the small group of men that had gathered near the pitcher's mound. Can we move your hand to hold it really? mm -hmm. Gusanos, worms, yelled one of the soldiers. Tell us what we want to know. They were shouting at two men in business suits who were holding something behind their backs. From where I stood, I could only see one man's profile, but he looked a lot like Papa's boss at the bank, Senor Betafil. It can't be him, I thought. He's such a sweet old man, always giving us candy whenever we could go see Papa. What would they want with him? Communista, the old man spat out the word. Another soldier came up from behind and struck him with a rifle butt. Oh, I gasped and turned away as the old man fell to his knees. I slowly peered through the hole again. Then I realized that the old man wasn't hiding something behind his back. Wait, wait, wait. His hands had been tied. You understand what, what they mean when like, they hit you with like, the butt of the, um, of the rifle, right? The butt of the rifle is the end of yeah, the I rifle. Know. So it like, hit you like that. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't like, hurt that much. It's just like kind of out. Mm -hmm. So it jabs you. Tell us, the soldier pushed the other man onto the ground and placed a foot on his neck while aiming his rifle at the man's head. I couldn't take any more. I looked away from the fence, but Frankie continued to stare at the scene through an opening at the bottom. Frankie, we need to go back. Mama had been right. This was bad, real bad. Shh, Frankie crawled toward the corner of the fence. I just want to see if the... The sound of gunfire splintered through the air. Frankie froze. Our eyes met. Neither of us had made a move to see what had just happened, and for a forced silence fell over the area. Not even the birds had made a sound. For what seemed to be a lifetime, but was really a split second, I could only hear the soft sound of the breeze blowing through the palm trees. Then the intensity of the soldiers shouting and laughing swallowed me. I grabbed Frankie by his shirt collar. Let's go, now! Mama peeked around my bedroom door. Todo bien, mi hija? You've been quiet all afternoon. I wanted to make sure you were all right. I put down my copy of French Vogue. Everything's fine, I gave her a half smile. Before sneaking back into the house, Frankie and I had agreed not to say anything about the soldiers. If Mama found out, we'd, punished, we'd be punished for a month. Plus, for all we knew, the soldiers were just trying to scare Senor Betafil and, and no one really got hurt. Or maybe it wasn't even Senor Betafil. And if it was him, maybe it was the other guy who got shot because he'd done something really bad. I'd heard stories on TV of traitors being executed, but those people were trying to harm us. Could that other man have been a traitor? He must have been. The revolution wouldn't execute innocent men. Mama sat on my bed and started brushing my hair. I know staying home is hard, but you and your brother have been very good. She reached over and put the silver-handled brush back on my vanity.